morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. Please try to call early so we can get to as many calls as possible. I hate leaving folks on hold, which we invariably do, or leaving, uh, leaving folks hanging when we end the program, which we seem to always do. 844-236-6010 is our number, so try to call in early. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear us uh, advertise or talked about on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Ask them about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. If you just want to get your dip your toe in the water and you want to check it out, check out the Longevity products, the BTT, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the way to go. Beyond Tangy Tangerine or Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. I like that one a little bit better. Cost you about 50 or 60 bucks a month. And if you're like most folks, you're going to notice results pretty darn quickly within 24 to 48 hours for a lot of people. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Ask about joining the team, too. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start yourself a longevity business and help spread the word about how important and how powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. Or you can just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. 866-735-2470 is the number for the phone team. You can also order products or sign up directly from my website, brightsideben.com, or my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, and also pharmacistben.com. We update both regularly with news stories as well as blog posts, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And of course, if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, go over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and check out our retinol gel, truth serum, Truth Night Balm or our Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with vitamin C, lots of juicy vitamin C, fat-soluble vitamin C. All our Truth products contain at least, uh, well, 12% 12, 12 or so vitamin C, ascorbyl palmitate in our Omega-6 Healing Cream, and then uh, 25 to 80% vitamin C in our other three products. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. Okay, we're talking pigment and pigmentation and hyperpigmentation, all as it manifests as a result of stress and the stress response. And in this way, even though we've been talking about pigment and pigmentation and melasma, it's important to recognize that it's not just a superficial issue. It's not just a cosmetic issue. This is true about all skin conditions. I don't know, or at least 99.9%. .9%. Occasionally, you'll get a topical skin condition, a topical rash. But for the most part, Skin conditions are internal. We're not led to believe this. We're not taught this. This is why we have dermatology. Dermatology is the science of ignoring the internal, uh, man the internal basis of uh, skin manifestations. That's what dermatology is about. It's about ignoring the internal state that's related to eczema, psoriasis, acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation. That's why you don't need a dermatologist. That's why dermatologists can't do anything. Dermatologists work on the outside, but the problem is the inside. And nothing exemplifies this, this link between the inside of the body and the outside of the body more than dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and melasma. Melasma tends to occur mostly in women, 
indicating an estrogen component. Melasma is linked to uh, Addison's disease, which is an adrenal disease. It's linked to pregnancy. It's linked to menopause. It's linked to thyroid issues. More recently, scientists have discovered that melasma skin, skin that's dark or hyperpigmented, in a, darkened inappropriately, hyperpigmented, <clears throat> skin that has this hyper, these hyperpigmentation spots, tends to have more blood vessels and new, more numerous blood vessels and, and bigger blood vessels than non-melasma skin, again, indicating an internal condition. The most important element, however, when it comes to hyperpigmentation is the stress response which is managed by the adrenal glands, which in addition to making stress hormones are also making our hormones of youth and vitality. This is so important because if you are cranking out cortisol out of your adrenal glands, your adrenal glands aren't making your youth and vitality and fertility hormones. So if you're aging rapidly, if you don't feel as vital as you should be, if you're not fertile and infertility affects millions and millions and millions of Americans, you can rest assured that there is a stress or adrenal component because all of uh, our stress hormones come from cholesterol, the odds are pretty good that you're going to be have higher cholesterol levels if you're under a lot of stress. Melanin pigment is not only stimulated by stress chemicals, it's actually derived from chemicals from uh, from chemicals that are also associated with the stress response. So not only do you get a, a increase in the production of melanin when you're under stress, but melanin itself is derived from tyrosine and serotonin and adrenaline. There's a very important link between these neurochemicals, these brain chemicals of stress and pigmentation. Melanin pigment is very electromagnetic. This is why it's found in the brain as well as in the skin. The skin and the brain are the two most electrical systems in the body. So it's no coincidence that you've got an electrical element like melanin found in the brain and found in the skin. If you've had a, a condition or if you've heard of a condition called vitiligo, vitiligo is an autoimmune disease that affects the cells that make melanin, that make pigment. And so you end up with these white patches on your skin. It's called vitiligo, Michael Jackson disease. Michael Jackson had vitiligo. He had these white patches all over his skin. Well, you know what? There's a brain version of vitiligo. It's called Parkinson's disease. Yes, Parkinson's disease is a melanin disease. And some people even believe today that Parkinson's disease may involve autoimmunity. Whether it involves autoimmunity or not, the fact is, is that Parkinson's disease and vitiligo are in many ways similar illnesses. Vitiligo is Parkinson's disease of the skin. Parkinson's disease is vitiligo of the brain. They're both melanin diseases. Melanin is found pigment, when I say melanin, I mean pigment. Melanin pigment is found throughout nature, in plants, in bodies of water, in lakes, and in streams. Melanin has an ability to trap energy. Melanin is like a, a little battery. It's an electromagnetic system. Scientists call it a bioelectrical polymer, meaning it's a long chain molecule that conducts electricity. They're actually studying uh, this property, this bioelectrical property, for use in computer chips and semiconductors and perhaps even for interfacing electronics with biology. According to uh, Professor, Professor uh, Paul Meredith and Associate Professor Ben Powell at the University of Queensland, they're studying this biological nature of melanin. They say semiconductors are the most important modern high-day tech material and even though semiconductors are made from inorganic elements these days like like uh, silicon or gallium, according to these scientists, melanin has a lot of potential to become a semiconductor, an organic semiconductor. It's bioelectrical. This brave new world of bioelectronics is already giving rise to prosthetic limbs that respond to our brain and respond to our thoughts. They're experimenting with using prosthetic limbs for for uh, veterans who come back from the Iraq war with uh, amputated limbs, they're experimenting with using prosthetics that respond to their brain and respond to their thoughts. This is the next stage in evolution. Some people call it transhumanism. And it may be that melanin has a major role to play in linking biology with electronics via its bioelectrical nature. So melanin is a lot more than pigment, a lot more than pigment. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Yeah. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. 
We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7, on our archive page at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. You can also search uh, pharmacists, uh, search brightsideben.com as well as benfuchsarchives.com, and you can check out my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, and, and also pharmacistben.com. And, of course, if you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, you can do it right off the website, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you've got a health challenge you need help with, if you've got questions about the longevity products, if you're interested in learning more about the truth treatment products, or retinol, or pigmentation issues, or you've got skin issues, we're taking your phone calls, as we always do on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. And if you're interested in purchasing in any of our Truth Treatment products, go over to truthtreatments.com. So we're talking pigmentation and melanin. Melanin is much more than just a coloration. It's much more than just a pigment that colors the skin and the eyes and the hair. Melanin is found inside the body. It's found in the brain. It's found throughout the body. All the organs of the body have melanin in it. Perhaps you've heard President Jimmy Carter has a stage 4 melanoma in his liver and in his brain. So if anybody tells you that you stay out of the sun to protect yourself from melanoma, well, they just don't understand what melanoma really is. Melanoma is a melanocyte, a, uh, a uh, melanin cell issue. And it's true that you have most of your melanocytes or a lot of melanocytes on the skin, but you got them inside the body and you can get melanoma inside the body and you can get melanoma in areas that do not contact the sun. Does the sun trigger things? Well, yes, it's high energy. Anything that's high energy can, can potentially trigger cancers, but you don't want to look at cancer or melanoma as only a sun issue. It's a melanocyte issue, a pigment making cell issue. Melanin is ridiculously important as a bioelectrical substance. Scientists are looking to interface, using melanin to interface conventional electronics with biological systems. This is the brave new world of transhumanism that we're about to enter. If we have not already entered it, I suspect that when evolutionary changes happen, they happen way earlier than anybody notices them. And probably that's what's going to happen with transhumanism or with the next stage in evolution. What do you guys think about that? The next stage in evolution. I know a lot of people are freaked out by this concept, but can we really stop evolu evolution from occurring? I don't think so, especially now that we can manipulate our bodies so effectively. In the book, Melanin, the chemical key to black greatness, a chemist named Carol Barnes raises an interesting hypothesis that drugs and pollutants alter the structure of melanin and may lead to various brain maladies, various skin maladies, skin cancers, and other dermatological conditions. I don't know if that's true or not, but the incontrovertible fact is melanin and bioelectricity and the stress response go hand in hand. Stress has been called the black plague of the 21st century. And I don't mean to diminish the significance of chronic elevations of stress levels as a cause of our problems, societal problems and biological problems, health problems. But I think that by concentrating on stress itself as the problem, we miss a much more significant issue, a much larger issue, and that is the stress response. Stress is actually not what we're talking about when we really say stress causes illnesses. What we're really talking about is strain, stress and strain. Stress is... Uh, the pressure that's put on a system, and strain is the system's response to that stressor, but to that pressure. So really what we're talking about is not a stress issue, uh, we're talking about a strain issue, a stress response issue, and this is so important because it's how we handle stresses that leads to diseases or not. It's how we uh, handle, how we respond to stressors that leads to disease or not. What's supposed to happen under ideal conditions when we're laboring under some kind of stressful environment is that our emergency energy systems will kick in with turbo energy while at the same time these emergency systems will initiate the, the, the secretion of building chemicals. So stress under ideal conditions, stress is supposed to lead to building. Stress is supposed to make us stronger. Nietzsche said that in the 19th century, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that's what he meant.